Hi, I'm Ed Hyland. This is Insect TV, and I'm joined now by two gentlemen from Shaker High School in Latham, New York. We've got Kevin, we've got Brennan, work together on a project, and we're here in the Gateway to the Future, talking about the STEM program and such. Kevin, give us an idea of the project you two worked on and uh, how it kind of ties into what you'd like to do with science and technology. All right, well, uh, the project we're working on is a passive infrared motion sensor for evading infant and animal fatalities. Uh, we came up with this, with this idea uh, from a personal experience of mine. Um, my mom and I were back up in New York going back to school shopping with clothes. And we went in this store and we heard this shriek outside. And it was a mother who left her child in the car. And that shriek just keeps ringing in my head whenever I go over this presentation with someone. And it just is ingrained there. And it really affected me. So I wanted a way to solve that problem. Solve that problem of not letting a parent forget their child in the car. And then we incorporated the animal aspect too once we found data on animals and how many animals die in overheating cars also. And I actually want to be a biomed engineer, so I find this really cool because it's all about biology, all about like how your thermoregulatory system works and everything about temperature, body temperature, all that stuff. Now, Brendan, you're on kind of the mechanical engineering side, I believe you were saying. Give us some ideas of how you two work together on this. And, and again, bringing in the science, uh, uh, really the learning experience. Well, you know, we developed this over the summer and it was really a great experience, but uh, when we uh, got further into the year, we had to start developing our prototype, which was really interesting, and we had to use different computer programs and uh, electronic programming as well, so it was really fun to do that. You get a lot of, uh, I mean, artificial intelligence. I'm just kind of throwing out things here as a non-science person, but give us some ideas of, of how you got it to be realistic and, and something that, that people can really relate to. Uh, well, you know, Kevin had his personal experience, and, over, and starting from last year, we had to develop multiple ideas on how to figure out this issue, and uh, we narrowed it down to our idea, and uh, it's called PACUS, and we named it PACUS, the Passive Animal and Child Alarm System, so it's really interesting. Looks like fun, and at the same time, something that people can really use. Yes, definitely. Um, we, we tried to make it for the ordinary person. Everybody has an animal. Everybody, or every mother, wants to know that their child is safe. Uh, some rewards that we want to do, we, wa we want the parent to know that their animal or their child is safe so they don't need to worry about forgetting their child. Science at Work, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us thank right you. here. This is Itsec TV.